And after all this time, they have finally given Sierra back her Pokeball. Remember before this, it looked like first she was given like an I love you sign or whatever right here. And then when it got to the other screen, it just sort of looked like she was requesting a martini be put in her hand or something. But that was when she did not have the Pokeball in her hand. Now they've finally gotten it there, but her shadow lineup has changed up right here. So uh, it's going to start off with Sableye. Sableye's only weakness is actually fairy types. Now, I know maybe not a lot of people have like a good PvP Pokemon or Team Go Rocket Pokemon. On. They don't always cross over with raids and stuff. One that's fairy, right? And fairy doesn't have a lot of good, like, fast attack options, I feel personally. And maybe charge attacks, I don't know. I'm just trying to come at this. Usually these videos do come from a perspective of trying to help beginners, but especially people who are just struggling with Team Go Rocket, because I'm gonna say the majority of you guys out there probably just kind of disregard, like, the type advantages and all that, and the stun time that you can take, which we're gonna talk about in a second. And you probably just outmuscle the leaders, because they've nerfed them so hard and everything. Luckily, say Eye, at least a little bit more challenging than, say, Squirtle, for example. So after every single charge attack that you do or Team Go Rocket does, they're actually going to stand still for just about two seconds. So this is time that you don't want to use a charge move in that interim if you even have one. So notice right here, Sableye's not doing anything again. It's for a good, like, a little bit over two seconds. So you notice that entire time I just generate energy again. You can actually generate energy more than you need. So let's say that you have the charge attack ready. You can keep stacking that energy on top of that charge move. Does that make sense? You know, so you want to farm that up. So right here, we're going to try to go ahead and use Obstruct right here. This is the Community Day Obstagoon because it was a Community Day Pokemon this year and somewhat recently, like somewhat, that's why I chose it. And also with Obstruct, it's going to actually make the defense fall of your opponent and then make your defense rise. So that was why we used that, you know, and it had a few advantages against Sableye. That Sableye earlier was using a Dark type move, it's Faint Attack, whereas if it was using a Ghost type move, actually our Obstagoon would double resist that. So currently it's single resisted that dark attack. So that's still fine. Obstagoon, a great choice if you don't have a fairy type again. Now, one of the most destructive things you can do going up against this Flygon is anything with ice punch, any kind of ice moves, powder snow, like ice is going to be great against Flygon because it is going to do 256% damage. Normal super effectiveness is 160%. So 256 means that we're going to basically, Flygon is dragon and ground. So both of those are weak to ice, right? So it's not just one type being weak to ice. Now, on the contrary, when she sends in Houndoom right here, it's got Fire Fang, so this is actually a lineup set to trap you. The fire is going to be really good against an ice Pokemon, so you could have like a, an, a Pokemon that's of a different type, but still deals ice damage, and that would be like a way around it. Like, you know, this Poliwrath, for example, if this Poliwrath was powered above the Great League, it could actually probably solo the entire thing. I always really make the attempt to at least leave my Pokemon below 1500 CP for you guys. It just basically shows is that you could have a higher CP and for instance Team Go Rockets Pokemon they could be even weaker than mine because a lot of my accounts are like level 40 and above and Team Go Rocket they will make their Pokemon they're they're going to be more powerful the higher that your trainer level is so like a level 47 trainer for example would see a much higher CP amount than a level 26 level 30 anything below level 47 in that case Polyrath though is amazing with power up punch and mud shot and if you can add in ice punch as well to have two charge attacks you just scroll down to where it says new attack and do that, then Polyrath is, is just OP at that point. But we did it. I think it won't be too hard, again, for most other people. But if you're kind of new to Team Go Rocket, don't worry. These videos will help cover all of the scenarios that they can throw at you. And definitely videos covering Giovanni. So I'll catch you guys on one of those. And thanks for viewing.